Hello, welcome to American History One, covering the years 1492 to 1865. The Carl Albert catalog for this course is um, CASC.1397. That is the section that I am teaching. My name is Jeff Bings, and I'll be your instructor for the next 16 weeks. I just wanted to introduce myself to you and kind of give some information that will help you, I think, uh, get started during this first five days of the course. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the Carl, Carl Albert website. And I'm sure several of you have never had an online course. And so I wanna walk you through how to get to the course and then talk about, uh, give you some directions on navigating the course homepage. So this is caralbert.edu, our, our school's website. This is the home page, and uh, we do our online courses through a, a um, platform called Blackboard. So whenever you're on our website, think about left-hand side menu. So on the course, on the uh, college home page, here is a left-hand side menu, and about halfway down, a little bit farther than half, you see Blackboard. So click on Blackboard. You'll then come to another page that you'll have to put your username and password. Hit continue. And what it's going to bring you to is what's called the stream, as you can see up here in the left hand corner. This is actually the activity stream. And this really functions like, a, a, like an announcement section. What it will do is it will bring up for you to see assignments that are due very soon. And new assignments will pop up as their due date approaches. Or maybe I will post an announcement in the course. This, uh, this uh, stream will have a little um, have a little announcement here about anything that I do within the course home page. So again, left hand side menu. To get to your course, we're going to go down to courses and click on that. And what it's going to bring you to is all of the current courses you're taking online. So for our class, you're gonna to wanna to pick American history, 1492 to 1865. Now, when you enter into the class webpage, it's going to take you right to the welcome page this is the welcome page, our big CASC online logo. And I have made it as easy as, as I can by greeting you with my friends from Monsters University and saying, start here. And here is a written announcement or a written welcome with um, very important information about how to begin the course and how to succeed over the 16 weeks. Also on the welcome page is textbook information, syllabus, and this is one of two 
places to find the syllabus. But if you want to print out an old fashioned paper syllabus, you can do so in either Word or PDF. Contact information of me, your lovely instructor, a folder to check for announcements, and then this folder at the bottom, which I will come back to. Now, I've put this in your big written announcement, but I want you to think of three things as you begin the course. Now, I've structured the course to where the first five days are a honeymoon period, which is a period to look over the course homepage and become familiar with it. See how it's set up and become familiar with how to get to all of the things that you need to get to. Of major importance are these three things. Three folders. I need help folder, start working folder, and syllabus folder. Syllabus folder is different than this syllabus that is posted right here on the welcome page. So again, left-hand side menu. Let's look here. There's our welcome page, which is this. Syllabus. Start working. And then down here, I need help. Now, I do want you to check out all these other folders, but I just wanted to highlight these three folders very quickly. The syllabus folder. This is a more fancy schmancy syllabus than the one that is provided as a Word or PDF document. All the vital information. Think of the syllabus as a contract between you and me. So all of the pertinent information concerning the course is in the syllabus. Of importance is the plagiarism policy that you'll want to read and the course calendar or schedule at the bottom of the syllabus. Now, let me just go to full screen real quickly. Some of you may have been like me and maybe you still are. At one time I used to live in a modular home. It's a home that you go and buy and it comes in two parts. Maybe they have three modular homes now, I don't know. But we bought a home a few years ago. Some people call it a mobile home, but it's a modular home because it's in two pieces and it sticks together to make one home. So our course is set up to be in a modular format. After the honeymoon period, this coming Monday, August 22nd, we will begin module one. And there are four modules that make our one course up. Each module is four weeks long and covers anywhere from three to five chapters of the textbook. All right. So, This first five days is called the honeymoon period. Once again, to get familiar with the course homepage and how I am going to um, basically lead the class. There will be a honeymoon bonus for 15 points. Matter of fact, that assignment is already posted. And what it is is simply 10 questions that you can answer that you will find all the answers in the course home page, including the syllabus and the I need help folder. Sunday night at 9 p.m. I will post the first module. I will only post one module at a time. So you can see here, module one, 
will begin Monday the 22nd and go through September 18th. I will not post pop module two until nine o'clock p.m. September 18th. So we're only working one module at a time. You will find in each module four homework assignments, and then we will end with a test. Now, the way the module works is you go at your own pace. So for example, the first assignment is a discussion question where you introduce yourself and you ask and answer a few questions about American history. And I think it's due around August 26th. You have to turn it in. You have to submit your initial reply to the discussion by August 26th to get full credit. However, if you don't get it in time, let's say you don't get it in until August 30th, you still can get partial credit. As long as you turn it in within the whole period of the module, which again, goes through September 18th, you can get credit. See here, all module assignments can be submitted by September 18th, but with a late penalty. Assignments not turned in by September 18th will result in a zero. So once the end of the module comes, you can't turn in any assignments from module one, unless you had some kind of emergency situation came up and you contacted me to let me know. But I know some of you are going to be, um, some of you are, are very organized and you're overachievers and you're go-getters and you can get your first assignment done today. Actually, you can't because I'm not going to post it until Sunday night. But if it was due August 26th, you could get it turned in by August 24th. Each assignment is self-paced. But there's a little grace period there. If you don't get them in on time, you still have till the end of the module to get them done. So I hope that made sense. So check out the syllabus. The start working folder is simply where your assignments are. So when you hit start working, you will see here five day honeymoon period. And within this folder, I've included a course calendar. Let me click on that. There's another course calendar with color, big print. And then there is the honeymoon bonus. All right. So remember, the start working folder. Let me go back to the welcome page. The start working folder is where you will go to start your assignments. And so Sunday night after nine o'clock, when you click on this, you will see module one. You'll actually see three different folders. You'll see a module one overview, which will give you a very general description of all the assignments. Then a module one assignment folder with all the assignments individualized. And then a third folder called module one supplemental materials, where I will add from time to time videos or other articles, things that I want you to engage in during the course. So that is the start working folder. And then the I need help folder is a folder of nine different things to help you. For example, I want your assignments to be done in MLA format. Well, if you go here into the I need help folder, I have a link to MLA format at Purdue University. So you click on that and boom, Purdue University's online writing lab. MLA, MLA style introduction. And on the left hand side,
all the things you need for MLA. Introduction, overview and workshop, formatting and style guide, which also includes samples. Now, just to let you know, if you have another instructor that wants you to do, let's say, APA style, you can also find an APA style, uh, an APA guide here too. So that's in the I need help folder. I have three things about plagiarism that I want you to read and you'll see why in the assignment, the honeymoon assignment. And a free converter to convert a document from say PDF to Word, you click on that and it takes you to the free PDF converter. So very important thing, the I need help folder. And to begin with right off the bat, there's seven, seven items in this first folder that go to different places to find help on Carl Albert's website, all right? So check out the I Need Help folder. And to help you with that, I've put a handy dandy table of contents. It's on the welcome page at the very bottom. I Need Help table of contents. Looks like it's eight things and not um, set nine. So. Those three things, syllabus, start working, and need help. Make sure you go over them thoroughly. Now I'm looking forward to a great 16 weeks. And um, I wanna tell you one more thing and I'll, and I'll end this video. I'm going to have two office hours, office hours that you can contact me during those hours and I will immediately respond or within that hour. Mondays from three to four, Thursdays, three to 4 p.m. on Mondays, Thursdays, six to 7 p.m. You can contact me via email or by my cell phone through text or calling me. Keep your calls between 10 p.m. and 8 a.m., please. No, no, nothing between 10 p.m. and 8 a.m. Keep your calls between, that would be between 8 a.m. and 10 p.m., all right? I've got this all written down in the syllabus and stuff and on my contact information. Now, one thing that's going to be different about the Thursday office hour is I will also be available, I will have my Zoom on, so you can log into my Zoom room and uh, talk to me face to face. So, that's it. Just kind of relax for these first five days. If you're anxious or if you've been anxious about starting, <laughs> uh, just kind of relax. I've given you five days to navigate the course homepage and all the documents and all the information. And also giving you a, a way to earn 15 bonus points. So do that. Remember, module one will be posted Sunday night, August 21st, this Sunday at 9 p.m. If you have questions, call, text, email. You'll see in that written welcome message on the welcome page, communication is the first vital thing that I have lifted, listed. Communication, communication, communication. All right, glad to have you in the class and we'll, I'll be, I'll be posting videos throughout the course as well as other things to help you. Looking forward to it once again, and I will talk with you until next time. Bye-bye.